Welcome back to the channel and today we're in Instruments of Destruction looking at some crazy creations once again starting with the Nar Narwhal Drill Wall 3 million? I missed the name. Dang it. Hold on. I, I couldn't count the zeros. 300,000 or 3 million. I don't know. 3 million sounds a little bit more reasonable. And But this creation is not reasonable. So, uh, what the chat that we've created a shockwave already. All right. So, this thing is just a massive tank. And uh, the vehicle building capabilities of this game have vastly improved very, very quickly over the past couple weeks. So, I'm a, I'm a bit afraid about what we're gonna see in this episode. Cause I, uh, it just, things just are accelerating at a very rapid pace. So when I press E, I'm assuming it's gonna start drilling. Oh, what? No wonder why my frame rate is a little bit low. How? How was this even built? Look at these designs. I gotta figure out what these are even, they look, oh, they must be like some type of flex panels or something. But all right, let's go ahead and start drilling through this building. I think it's gonna, gonna slice through it like a piece of cake. Very warm piece of cake. Look at that. Oh, interesting. I, I can't even really tell how fast it's actually drilling. Because I think because of the lag that this creation creates, it's technically slowing down time in the game. So we're seeing a slow-mo version of the real speed. And of course, it drills through with no problem. Oh boy. It, the way it's moving around like that, it's doing that on its own. I'm not doing that. I think it's because each section is spinning in opposite directions. So it depends on what actually hits. All right. Now let's look at the anatomy of the drill okay so this is a it is a flex panel so this is wow these are a lot of flex panels well i guess i mean the fact that you had you do kind of have to build them like each one of these sections would have had to have been built separately right because they're different sizes you can't really resize after you copy and paste but yeah this this is a crazy amount of flex panels just to get the aesthetic of this drill and it is it was so worth it this thing looks amazing. Up next, we have Punchy McPuncherson version three by SM Comer 10. And I just got to give it the name. Like the, the name, I just got to give it, I got to give it an award for the name. It has an amazing name, Punchy McPuncherson. And that looks like a pretty good looking fist. Considering the size, it, it it's really, it's really good detail. How does this thing work though? Eat. Ah, what happened to the fist? Where did it go? What? Oh, hold on, what? Oh, okay. That was not what I thought Punchy McPuncherson was going to do. I mean, it is, but not to that extent. All right, well, let's Punchy McPuncherson this building here. So if I hold it down, then I stay attached to the ground. So that's good to know. It's so good. It's so good. Uh, I want more. I need to know how it works. How do you punch so fast? Is it just is it is it just the uh, the grappling hook? Is that all this is? That's so cool. Okay, all right, time to examine. So what is this? Winch. <gasps> I've never used the winch before. What are the winch settings? Whoa. Oh, this looks nice. Nice and compact, if a little bit small though. So we got range, rope segments, rope material, flexible, normal. Okay, interesting. So apparently a winch is very launchable. And if you attach four of them to a fist, you get Punchy McPuncherson. <laughs> I love how instantaneously the fist just like appears in the building practically. It's so good. All right, I need to see that in slow motion though. This fist needs an aiming laser. All right, here we go. Three, two, one, launch. I miss the building, fantastic. And I'm floating through the air now. All right, now that I'm a little bit closer. Three, two, one. Oh, so good, direct hit. Gave that building a classic knuckle sandwich. All right, Punchy McPuncherson was way cooler than I even thought it was going to be, and I already thought it was gonna be cool. All right, so from Punchy McPuncherson, we are transitioning over to the Transonic Dummy Launcher by Joel Buckley. So I think this thing is going to launch a dummy from here, and I'm pretty sure this is just a series of overdriven stacked magnets. So I think what we are about to see is going to be dummy launching like we've never seen before. I don't even know what button does it. What is T? Is T gonna do it? I don't know. 
Okay, I think that's normal dummy launching, but I think this is missing one thing. Yeah, there we go. The magnets have been activated now. So we got to see what normal dummy launching looks like. Now, let's see what transonic dummy launching looks like. And go. Wait, where, where dummy go? Wait, how many dummies did I, well, uh, do you see what I'm seeing? That is not dummy. Those are dummy ingredients, but that is not dummy. Wait, what is this over here? Oh, it's a window. I thought it was something way, way far away, but it was a window that was actually really, really close. Whoa, what just happened? Oh, oh, you know what just happened? I reversed the magnets without realizing it, and now there's dummies inside of me. Hold on, reverse magnets again. Expel the dummies. I'm still shooting that building. You can kind of see the dummies take shape way up in the air after they phase through the building. Yep, you can see all their ingredients come together to form a dummy. And this is how dummies are made. And they're ejected off into the universe to populate some unknown planet somewhere deep into the cosmos. Imagine if this is how space travel ended up being. Come to think of it, <laughs> It's not really that different. We're just strapping people into giant rockets and literally throwing them into space. So not trying to think about that too hard now. All right, now we're going from transonic dummy launcher to nuclear squirt gun version two by Hector is 919. Transonic dummy launcher, nuclear squirt gun. What are these names of these vehicles? This is a pretty interesting shaped uh, squirt gun though. It is tank steering, that's nice. I don't know what the buttons are gonna do. T and R. Oh, wait, 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 what, 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 why did I go forward with the aiming lasers? Why did the aiming lasers do that to me? All right, well, what does R do? Okay, R makes me go backwards. What, what is happening? What are you doing? Uh, I don't understand. Hold on. I have to attach myself to the ground somehow. Oh, there we go. Now where I press T, I'm aiming. I should have probably aimed at a building first. Oh! <laughs> I don't think this is what it's supposed to do. I don't think this is what it's supposed to do. Hold on. All right, aim at the building first, then attach to the ground, then activate aiming lasers. Aim up a little bit. All right, here we go. I think E is the, is the key I have not pressed yet. Three, two, one. Oh, I'm filling this up with cannons. I have 700 cannons in here right now. <gasps> I thought each shot was like one. It's not. That's why the game's lagging right now. All right, well, 700 cannonballs uh, eject. There they go. One frame at a time. Whoa, whoa. Oh, whoa. I've never seen cannonballs create such a dark streak through the sky like that. That's a little intimidating. All right, let's try that without with a little bit less than 700. And we're gonna go for the thicker building this time. There we go. Aiming laser active. All right. One, each shot fires 100 cannonballs. So I'm gonna do 300 cannonballs this time and fire. Wow. Now I know why it's called a nuclear squirt gun. It's just little tiny cannonballs, little tiny particles of water, but uh, it's basically like a, a power washer at that point. Imagine if your power washer sprayed cannonballs. I don't think it'd be very clean after that. All right, and up next is, oh, what is happening? What is happening? Pinpoint by Johnny Arson. I thought it was gonna be a ball on a spike. There's clearly a lot more going on with this than I anticipated. Let's spawn it in. Ah, uh, what? Okay, I didn't even do anything yet. What am I doing? What am I doing? What am I driving right now? This is my experience. Well, I'm just gonna do a little bit of that. Yeah, I know that this is definitely gonna do more. I haven't pressed E or Q yet, and I'm not sure if I want to. I'm just kidding, I totally want to. I'm gonna do it right now when I get to this building. I'm not moving in that direction, I'm not. Okay, I literally stole all of the metal supports from this building. There's no like, oh, you can see a couple that are still there, but this has such a big magnet magnetic effect that it ripped out all of the metal supports of every single building. All right, there, I gotta try it in the opposite direction now. I did the attract setting. Oh, look at all the dummies falling off the building. I did the attract setting of the magnets. Now I'm gonna do the repel setting of the magnets. Ready, go.
Well, that was some delayed annihilation. All right, it's not nearly as... Wait, what is going on? What is going on right now? What? Okay, I mean, like, I don't, I don't really understand how this creation works. It seems like the magnets were doing nothing until I touched the ground, and then I just had this magnetic just effect throughout the ground. Okay, up next is Gunship Carrier by Tika Marie 17. And if I remember correctly, this is a gunship that carries, uh, or a walking carrier that carries two hovercraft things. So here's the walking motion. Oh, that's really smooth. That is actually surprisingly smooth. Turning isn't as smooth, but walking is pretty smooth. Okay, hold on. Oh, this is, I like this a lot. Look at the use of the sliding, the sliders. That's such a good use of the sliders. Wow. It has like a normal walking mechanic, but the sliders give it that extra distance that it is able to pull itself over. That's really cool. All right, E, Q. Whoa. Oh. What? Wait, what? Hold on, hold on. I'm so confused. So right now, WASD, you can see controls this. When I press E, now WASD controls this. When I press E again, it actually switches back to the walker. So now, and I can just swap. It just switch, it's like a toggle. It switches back and forth. Okay, so now F. And I can aim. That's so cool. And then I press Q. So they are both attached. Like I, I either control both drones or no drones. I can't control one at a time. And one of them is machine guns. This is a really clever vehicle or a really clever like a uh, collection of vehicles that work together. All right, and then I can go back to the walker, I believe. There we go. I have to deactivate both drones. Oh, wait a minute. Now I, oh, now I only have control over the left drone. I can control them individually. Look at this. And then if I press E, now I control both of them and I can turn off with Q. Oh, oh, this is more uh, complicated and good programming than I expected. So if I press E, this drone's activated. If I press Q, this drone's activated. So they're both activated. But if I press E again, I deactivate right drone. And if I press Q again, I deactivate left drone. So if both drones are deactivated, only then can I walk. If any drone is activated, then uh, the drones are under control with WASD. That's interesting. So now I can individually take control of the left, of the, what, what was the left drone. I can have you stop right there and then uh, switch over to the right drone. Look at that. Look at that, beautiful. Can I blow, I'm gonna have the drones fight each other. Come on. Whoops! Okay, I accidentally switched back to the uh, to the walker and destroyed some buildings. All right, well, that was a really cool vehicle. Cool looking walker, too. All right, up next, we have the Spicy Pancake by Technogenesis. If you replace the C with a K, it would be a spiky pancake, and I think it would also be accurate. Ooh, whoa. Oh. This is a cool design. You know, seeing some of these creations, like the ones that are aesthetically simple, like this one. Oh my goodness, the camera shake is too much right now. I am destroying everything. I'm sorry. Sorry about the camera shake there. Stop, 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 stop. Aesthetically simple ones like this just reminded me, they remind me of like Zelda uh, enemies, like the old Game Boy Zelda enemies. Like this is just something that would be moving around and you have to avoid it or jump on top of it or something, which would be like more of a Mario mechanic, but you know. Yeah, really, really cool. All right, I just deleted all of the panels so I can see what's going on. And it looks like this is actually somewhat complicated. So I'm gonna move on to another creation. All right, up next, a little bit of a breath of fresh air here. Something a little bit different. A classic UFO by Hazardous Hamburger. I've seen the craziest unworldly creations. It's kind of weird to say that, but the UFO here is actually the most worldly familiar thing that I've seen in this game, I think. Everything looks so crazy with all these other builds, seeing something that looks like just a normal average UFO is kind of nice. All right, up is E. There we go, oh, interesting. Oh, what? How does this work? This slider right here is giving power to something and as we increase the power, it doesn't increase our velocity, it just increases our altitude and then it literally just stops at that out so this slider is no longer a power slider it is an altitude slider i set the altitude and it stays there i actually don't understand how that was programmed uh aiming laser is r okay there oh we're gonna do some abductions here we got some uh dummies on top of this building that are 
They're just waiting for some for some abduction. All right, tractor beam or laser array? Tractor beam, laser array. What do you think the dummies would like more? All right, well, you know what? Let's go more classic UFO style and let's do the tractor beam, which is T for tractor beam. Oh, I gotta hold it apparently. Uh, why isn't the tractor beam tracting? Oh, it's starting to track now. Apparently the dummies are not attracted to the tractor beam. We've taken all the glass, just, just the glass. Oh, what? did you see all the glass? That's crazy. So it's trying to, oh, we got some dummies now. Oops, oops. All right, we've, we're officially abducting. Abduction initiated. The data that we collect will be invaluable to our conquest. All right, uh, drop. It's actually kind of epic dropping everything back down like that. The fact that the tractor beam is only minimally destructive is kind of satisfying. Data has been collected. We have determined that the dummy species is not worthy of existence. Activate laser array. Okay, that that was a little more extreme than I was expecting for like a whole concept there. <laughs> that was actually really epic. I want to do this building next. All right, and there we go. That is so cool. I am a real big fan of that. Okay, and up last here, what are we seeing? I've never seen colors like this in this game. Ares by Gruldvig. Nobody's done this before that I've, I, 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 I've never seen any creation that did this. All right, oh, this is a cool looking creation. All right, arrow keys. Okay, we got a bunch of guns. These, everything looks so cool. The designs are awesome. How did you make them look like that? All right, well, I'm gonna press uh, one button at a time here. Number one. Okay, number one is uh, the laser. So apparently each weapon is gonna fire individually. Number two is the machine gun, high caliber machine gun. Okay, excellent. Number three. Missile launcher just happened to get it directed on a building and then number four Is a bomb launcher Also got lucky with it on a building. What is number five gonna do then? Oh, of course chest laser. You got to have a chest laser always got to have a chest laser All right, so pretty standard weaponry what you'd expect but very non-standard and extremely creative design. Oh, I just noticed the face. There is a face in there, look at that. That's actually pretty nice. That's really well designed. Such a cool creation. What happens if I just fly into a building though? <laughs> Whoa, okay. It's trying to put me at the right altitude above the ground, which now the building was below me. So it kind of misread the signals there. All right, good job, monstrosity. You did it, you destroyed the things. So which one of these creations was your favorite? Let me know down in the comments below. And uh, if you enjoyed this video, you'll probably enjoy some more that you can find on the end screen right here. Hope this video has earned your subscription. Anyway, this has been Scrapman and I'll see you next time. Bye.